A £2 congestion charge for drivers has been proposed in Cardiff as part of a £2 billion 10-year transport plan. Cabinet Member for Strategic Planning and Transport, Councillor Caro Wilde, gives his thoughts on the news. What we're looking at uh, initially will be a number of different options. You know, we have to go through good decision-making processes, but we're saying that within those options we do want to consider charging uh, schemes, including, I think, technically known as road, road user charging. Uh, and within that we've set out that we, we have a kind of preferred option uh, if it was deemed that that was the way to go, uh, a, f a preferred option which would be uh, for people coming into Cardiff from outside and, and a low charging regime really, two pounds or A lot of evidence to suggest, you know, even small uh, charges and deterrents can, can have a big impact on people's behaviours. Um, so when you, when you look at things like the carrier bag charges, you know, it was only 5p, controversial when it came in, but it's, it's cut carrier bag, bag usage by 90%, you know, so even a, a small fee can make a big difference. But for us, it's absolutely about changing the dynamic of our, our transport and the economics of our transport system. At the moment, um, the car is often the most convenient way to get around, and it ain't doing the city um, much good, and we need to get more people uh, into public transport, we need to get more people on bikes, more people walking, feeling safely, uh, you know, whenever they can. But just how big of a problem is pollution in the Welsh capital. But it's bad, uh, you know, like lots of cities across the UK, you know, we've, we've realised for, for years we, we were told that diesel cars were the thing to do and now we realise that diesel cars are causing really bad, you know, really dangerous uh, pollution levels. We need to be honest about that with people in Cardiff, that this is affecting all of their health, uh, you know, not just people with breathing difficulties. And actually, from, uh, you know, uh, if we're honest, it also kills people. The important thing that people need to realise is that, uh, you know, all of the proceeds from any of these schemes, actually by law, has to be spent on transport improvements, public transport, you know, but importantly as well, getting the park and rides and getting express bus services from places on the outskirts across the valleys and, and other local authorities nearby. You know, that's what they really need at the moment. 